We're expecting a good one in the Pac-12 today. Players going through their final paces before kickoff. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. It is time for ESPN's College Football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet on the call. We're here in Salt Lake City, Utah, near the Great Salt Lake. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Today's exciting game is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We'll see the Stanford Cardinal and the Utes of Utah. Presented by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Number Anderson is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 29. For Stanford, Kirk, you watched a lot of film on these guys. What do we expect this afternoon? There are a lot of high school players that look at college choices. And Brad, a lot of times they'll pick an offense if they're a quarterback or receiver or running back because it's going to help prepare them for the NFL. This West Coast pro-style offense is the closest thing in college football that you see to the NFL. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. Third and six. Ball on the 34. And this crowd is going crazy. Slings it. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Nice run up the middle. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Back to 47 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. The crowd is deafening. Looks to pass. Fires across the middle. He's at the 30. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. From the 29-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He 
They'll keep it on the ground again. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That'll bring up third and inches. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. And the stadium is shaking right now. To the fullback. He's tackled at the 15. That's, good That's the third time they've converted on third that down on this drive. Chances. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. But well, that time the big fella got home and came up with a sack. But credit the call by the defensive coordinator there with the blitz. The offensive linemen were occupied with those linebackers, and it freed up the defensive linemen to make that sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Drops back to pass. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Really a factor with the crowd noise here. There's an injured player on the field. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. Stanford up six. And he adds the extra point. It was a 13-play, 72-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. We've known about this quarterback and his accuracy, but that last drive was just a thing of you. The ball did not touch the ground. I mean, you have a quarterback that's in sync like that, it's going to be a long day for that defense. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will start at the 25-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Brought down at the 26. That was a loss of three yards. That'll make it 39. It's third and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. 
the offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Fires quick after the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Stanford is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Quick throw. Here's an opening. Knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 30. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 30. He scooped up. Run there as they work the outside. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Throws it to the outside. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. Stanford is up seven. He drops back. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this play is number eight on the drive. He fights forward to about the seven. Jones gets about a yard on the play. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. And this stadium is getting loud. Should be an easy field goal. Stanford can make this a two possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Johnson is ready to kick. to the 20. Tackle at the 32. Third 
The offense will take over at the 32-yard line. Throw in left. Scott was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. The defense stuffed out that toss. That's a loss of three. That'll make it third and 13. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. the 44. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. From their own 44-yard line, first down. They'll run it. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Fakes to the back. He throws right. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 41-yard line, second down. up it looks like they're going to try to block this one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback and we have an update on an injury Aaron thanks guys the sideline went silent when he didn't get up after that hit the trainers have ruled out a bruised sternum but the latest word I'm hearing is that he is suffering from broken ribs he is done for the day, and his status going forward is in question. Brad, let's send it back upstairs to you guys in the booth. Well, a big blow for these guys. Let's hope he's better and back on the field soon. Thanks, Aaron. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. Ah. 
Young set to go to the air. And they got him. Defense really fired up. Boy, that's just a great job of getting in there again. Fourth and long here after the sack. Freeman is back awaiting the punt. Freeman fields it at the 48, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll work the left. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 23-yard line, first down. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. Makes it to the five. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Again with the run. Offense falls up. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 23-yard drive, and the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Kickoff returns 26 yards. They'll go to work at the 28. Back to pass. Excellent open field tackle. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. From their own 41 yard line, it's first down. Feeds it to the back. Makes it out to about the 49. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. He looks to throw on first down. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Down, right around 
the 30. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 30-yard line, first down. Can't find anyone open. Decides to slide. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he's scrambling. And they got it. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. From the 25-yard line, it's third down. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 14-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down around the 10-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. They're calling an audible. To the end zone, intercepted. They're going to have to make some changes in a hurry, or else this game will be over by halftime. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Around the 36-yard line. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 17 to nothing, Cardinal. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's toss it down to Aaron Andrews for an update from the sidelines. The big play was non-existent in the first half. And for Stanford, they played opportunistic defense, which is something the coach said he stressed this week in practice. Brad? Here they go, looking to give their fans something big to get excited about. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's scrambling. He's going to take off. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he is drilled. 
the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Scrambling around. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From the 48-yard line, first down. First down, look at the throw. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. He scrambled. And he hits him hard at the 43. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Can't find anyone open. That's a great tackle at the 38-yard line. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they that need to pass in that situation most of the time. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Here's the run, got a hole. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game of 18 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. six-yard line. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding penalties can really kill momentum, but sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Toss. He makes it to the 38 yard line. Two yards on the toss play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 38 yard line, it's second down. He's hit and taken down. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. He 
It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. From the 45-yard line, first down. They go with the back, and he's got room. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. White picks up two yards with a carry. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Pitch play here. He's at the 20, inside the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. Sometimes guys will look a little rusty or not too sharp in the opening week. But he looks like he's got his rhythm today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This drive will start at the 25 yard line. Way to look it is. Scott picks up around five yards with that catch. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. More the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 30. He sails it long. It's the sophomore that's got it at the 30. Touchdown! This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. They'll go for two in this situation. Moore takes it left. They don't get it. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 24-6. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he's level at the 22. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Brought 
down at the 20-yard line. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on their own 20. He lets it fly. Missed him. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Fraser back deep to return. It's away and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The offense will take over at the 46-yard line. He's on the run. And now the ball is loose. The offense falls on it. They're about four yards away here on second down. Young drops to throw. Throws this one out to the right. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 19. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their mind. First and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. The halfback with a carry. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of six on the draw play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's looking to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 10. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. On play action. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're crowding the line. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Utes. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. A nice five-play, 48-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread, and people expect offenses to, to spread you out and, and throw the football all day. But I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now, what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. Feeds it to the back. He makes his way to about the 38. 
Make it 100 yards rushing for him. Sometimes guys who look a little rusty are not too sharp in the opening week. But he looks like he's got his rhythm today. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Throwing right. Makes the ground and steps out right away. That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Tackled for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Great penetration into the backfield, and that was just a great hit to finish off the play. From the 43-yard line, second down. On the handoff, watch out. Gets out to around the 32. They've got a solid drive going here. And I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32. Here's the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. From the 19-yard line, first down. Robeson on the inside handoff, and he's tackled at the 9-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they make the stop around the nine-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he converts the extra point. They're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. Can't find anyone open. And he's going to be sacked. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 12. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 21. Throws it to the outside. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Now he's scrambling. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Looking to throw. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Less than three minutes in the game. to pass on third and short. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 41. That makes it first and ten. Drops back on first down. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. McNeil on a pitch to the left. Touchdown, Utah! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. for a touchdown. Brought down at the 42. That might have just clenched it. And that's a really strong effort by the hands team to make sure they came away with the football. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Utah just took their first time out. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackle at the 37. The Utes call a timeout. That's their second of the halves. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 37. This place is starting to get fired up. Looks to pass. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He's gobbled up in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 28-yard line. He fights forward to about the 26. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17.
They go with the back, and he's got room. Makes it to the eight. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defense's that psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Stanford looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 31-19, Cardinal. 19. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this just goes to show you, whenever you take an opponent lightly, especially one you should easily beat, you come away with a pretty painful defeat. Stanford could have easily rolled over today, but instead they came out fighting and played a fantastic game for a really hard-earned win. EA Sports congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For Stanford, they start the season out with a win. And for the Utes, they start out the season on the losing end. Thanks Thank for joining us for another game of NCAA game. Football 13. Safe, for safe, Kirk, safe. Aaron, and everyone here at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time.